Chapter Six: A Shock for the King. The king was having breakfast when Ralph strolled in. "Good morning, Your Majesty," said Ralph brightly. "I suppose you've come to tell me you failed too," sighed the king. "Ah, but I didn't, sire," Ralph replied. Waving the twigs, he told the king what he'd seen. "The mystery is solved." This all sounds very unlikely," grumbled the king, when Ralph had finished. "Are you sure you're not just making it up to save your head?" He decided to call for Annabelle. When she saw the three twigs in his hand, she looked horrified. Horrified. One look at her face told the king all he needed to know. Dancing is banned. He declared. The princesses sobbed and wailed when they heard their secret had been discovered. "What will we do?" they cried. "Life is so dull without dancing. This is the worst day of my life." But there was nothing they could do. True to his word. The king let Ralph Ralph ma、uh, the king let Ralph marry one of his daughters. I'd like Amy, Ralph said. If she'll have me, she's the sweetest of all. I'm sure you'll both have you'll both be very happy. Amy and Ralph's wedding was a joyful occasion. Even the king couldn't stop smiling. I have a surprise for you. He whispered to Amy, "I have a surprise for you." He whispered to Amy. The king led her to the ballroom, and Amy gasped. Hundreds of candles lit up the dance floor, and in the corner, a band was playing a lively tune. As it's a special occasion, you may all dance, but. For one night only," said the king. "Oh, how wonderful!" cried Amy and her sisters, grabbing partners. They were all still dancing the following night. "I thought I'd said one night only," said the king, but he smiled. Ralph had worked on some more of his magic. The end.